Hey, this is Isara with UX in Motion, and I'm going to show you how to export using the Body Moving plugin to Lottie from After Effects. So what is this about? Well, let's check this out. So if you go to this cool site, LottieFiles.com, this is an After Effects project file that I exported and uploaded to this website and I can preview my After Effects work live on the web and I can use this, I can export it and hand it off to engineers and do all kinds of crazy stuff with this tool. I'll show you all this cool stuff. You can like slow it down, you can play it back. And this is live on the internet and these files can be used in products. Tons of companies are using them. I'm gonna take you through it and show you how it works. Um, before I do that, I just wanna say, look, if you want to learn UI animation courses from me, you can go to my site, uxemotion.com. Lots of folks at cool places that you may have heard, heard of uh, have used my training. Check it out. There's a little thing you can save 15% on my animation courses uh, if you put in your thing. That's how it works. Mandatory plug to my site. So let's check this out. So I'm using design source files from a, a previous blog post, how to animate an icon in After Effects. And I'll include the link in the description. You can click and download that file and have that project file and play with that if you want. You're totally welcome to do that. So what's the deal here though? Stepping back for a minute. So a couple years ago, um, Airbnb put out this, released this platform called Lottie. And what Lottie is, is a way for engineers to take JSON files for, directly from After Effects and import them into projects using websites and uh, digital products. It's freaking amazing and a game changer. Here's, here's the website uh, from Airbnb. Um, who knows why it took Airbnb to do it, but that's what they did. Um, and so there's a lot of cool examples and there's some good resources and they talk about After Effects on the website, yada, yada, yada. Um, what else do you need to know? Okay, so another thing is that it supports features in After Effects, not everything. So with the link that I'll include in the video, um, or I mean in the description, um, there's a list here of all the supported features for Android, iOS, Windows, Web SVG, Web Canvas, Web HTML. And you can see that there's a lot of thumbs up here in terms of features and there's some red areas here. So there's some blending mode stuff, um, Matt. So just when you're building your projects out and if you're doing anything that's not just working with vector layers in really clean ways, consult this list. Um, that's what I do. Um, it's really, really helpful in case you need to debug something. So other cool thing is that there's this site, this website called Lottie Files com run by these really cool folks. Um, the the um, the thing that it's for is like downloading and posting resource files. But what they've also done is they've created this really really powerful way to um, preview your work on their website. So that's what I showed you in the first part. Here is this is a file that I exported from, from After Effects. So I'm going to take you through that now. I just wanted to show you a couple cool things before I, I do that. Oh, and lastly. Um, you can get, there's two places to get the plugin. So the way it works is you have to install a plugin um, into After Effects. It's called the Body Moving Plugin. And all it does is it exports a JSON file uh, from After Effects to wherever you want. And then you can upload that or share that with your engineer. So here's a link here for the Body Moving move Plugin. I know there's a lot of links in this video. Um, and then you can also download it for free on GitHub. I personally can't get files to work. I'm not. I don't have what it takes. So I like to just get it from uh, aescripts.com. Really, really cool. 20 bucks or you can name your own price. That's rad. So then when you load it into After Effects, uh, it looks like this, this little panel right here. And this is the body moving plugin. And I'm gonna show you now how this works. It's really easy. It'll just take you a second. So here's the After Effects project file from that blog post. And you can see it's just, you know, vector shapes basically that I have here. Although it does work with uh, like images and so forth. Um, now, what I will do is I will show you how to export this. So when you have the body moving plugin open and uh, configured how you want it, there's a couple steps. Uh, and it took me a while at first. So the first thing you have to do is you have to select your composition that you want to export. This does not look like a checkbox or a select thing. It is, and you have to click that. If you don't, it will not work. The other thing you have to do is you have to click this green text here, which is not apparent. And uh, see, this is the challenge when you're, t when you're uh, working with UX people as well, is like the UX of this plugin is like really bad, um, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So then you name your file. Uh, so it's like how to animate an icon, we'll call that version four, great. 
So two things, you wanna make sure this thing is checked and then make sure you, you, you name your file here and also set your location if you so want. Uh, then you hit render and it's really quick. It just takes a few seconds and then it's done. You're like done, great, happy. Um, and then you can go to lottiefiles.com. So you just go to lottiefiles.com and then you hit the preview button here. This is great. All you have to do is hit browse and then find your file on the desktop, hit choose, and it will load it up in this preview. Now, if you're not already logged into this website, you'll have a smaller preview and it'll say, hey, if you want access to cool fe features, just sign up for free, which is what I did. Uh, again, really cool folks. They built this uh, platform. One of the ways I recommend using this is that you can debug your files before you hand them off to uh, like engineers, which is awesome. So I highly recommend you do that because I've had files that I thought were clean. I bring them in and it's like stuff's broken and this is not a tutorial of how to like fix and debug your stuff because it's honestly kind of like, I don't really understand it. So it's just trial and like error. Um, but this will tell you if things are broken, if it just doesn't play back or the timing's weird or there's just broken things, you'll see it in this window right here. The other thing too is like, they have an app and if you have, if you download the app, you can scan this QR code right here and you can preview your work directly on your phone, which is freaking amazing. So a lot of cool stuff in this video. Um, this was on my list to record for like the last year or so. And I can't believe I didn't do this yet. So it's done. You have it. Gave you a bunch of stuff, uh, the workflow, the resources, a bunch of links how to get your, uh, your animation preview on LottieFiles.com and you should be set to rock this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and follow my channel. It's just UI animation stuff with After Effects. Uh, so if you're interested in this topic, hit subscribe and then hit the little bell thing so you get the notifications when the videos uh, are released. New ones, awesome. Thanks, bye.